Got all the sounds of uh, all the sounds of the ring and people talking and stuff. All right, and welcome to the Milo Beasley Show. Do 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 do. Episode number one hundred and thirty nine. Holy moly! Yeah, we're getting up there. We're getting old. Yeah, really. Old. Uh, so I have a guest this week, uh, Sandra Bale. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm um, so happy to be in the heat right now. Yeah, it's so nice getting out of Toronto. <laughs> win- winter in Florida. How do you, you like it? Yeah, I can deal with winter in Florida. I can't deal with winter in Toronto. <laughs> I've, I've never been to Toronto. It's how, like, what's, like, is it just, is it cold every day, all day? In the winter, yeah, there's variations of cold, and we speak different languages. We, I speak Celsius, you speak Fahrenheit. So two Celsius is what it was when I left today. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like I, I have I friends. Like third, no, 20, 23 Fahrenheit maybe. Friends in the UK and stuff, and I don't know how to. And and the Australia as well, and I don't know. They're like, oh, it's like 23 today, and I'm like, they're like, it's really nice, and I'm like, I don't know what that, that means. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no. no, <laughs> no I, and I go back and forth to the Fahrenheit because I'm trying to figure out kind of the the, the tie between the two, but it's yeah, really cool. Math, I'm, I'm the only one walking around Florida with my winter coat in hand just, right. just in case just you never know like uh, last weekend it was stupidly cold was it really yeah now what's stupidly cold in Florida though uh, it was uh, I guess well, it was it was freezing it was 32 here so it was a zero. Oh wow okay that is pretty so cool. like it was yeah. for Florida it was cold yeah yeah I think we were at minus 20 last I read a marathon in that yeah <laughs> I did I read a marathon in that it was uh, it was not actually it was it was all right like actually about after a mile like Three, it was hot. Really? Yeah. I imagine that was a refreshing marathon. So you're from, so you're from the Canada then? I'm from the Canada. Yeah. Uh, are you born and yeah. raised there? Yeah. For my entire life, I've always been in the Greater Toronto area. Love it. Absolutely love it. I, I love, I love it here. Every time I come here, I wonder why I go back home. Why I just don't miss my flight and just live here for as long as they'll allow me to be here. So I'm not that familiar with the geography, but like Toronto is just on the other side. Like, right? Like it's like it wants to be in America. America, but it's just not? Uh, kind of, sort of, yeah. yeah we're, we're pretty damn close. And, and we're even, I think, uh, it, it, we're even a little bit south um, of some regions of, of America. Like, there are other regions that are a little bit further north. we got a car that stopped like, right here. I hope, we, I hope we pick that up. That's yeah. <laughs> fantastic. That's a great stopping point. Just, just um, right here would be perfect. <laughs> so let's get into some, some, some questions now. They might be a little bit weird, so bear with me. I like or maybe that. I'll just wait for after this car to move. I, I don't know. Just, All just right, so. Right here. I, it's probably the ring. Let's 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 here. let's start this off with. All right. <laughs> I got these off the internet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Would you rather fight a horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? So like a gi- like a giant duck the size of a horse. Right. Or a hundred horses that are the size of a duck. Wow. Like life and death, like you had to get out of there. So you have like a lot of really small things kind of coming at you or just one really big one? Right, but like, now that I think about it, like you want to, horses aren't really attacking type animals. No, and neither are ducks, really. Oh man, you got to come, you have to spend more time down here in the Florida, ducks attack. <laughs> I've seen the roosters and I've heard the roosters. So, yeah, ducks attack. Uh, how Okay, well, I'm gonna take the the hundred little horses. Hundred, yeah, they'd be. I might like, just collect them all. Cute, right? Ponies. <laughs> All right, all right. This one might put you on the spot. All right, okay. so, so you're in your car, right? You're driving your car. You're going from show to show. Yeah. Kanye West Gold Digger comes on. Oh my! One of my favorites. Do you do you sing it as it was written? If you know what I mean. Uh huh. Do you do you sing it? Do you do you really? Or do you you know <clears throat> you know at that part? Like what? Like what? You're in your car. You're alone. No, I'm letting it all out. That's, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, you got to say that as it's written. Right. Like it was written. Like if, if you don't want people to say it, you know, right? Like yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. No, exactly. Exactly. I'm alone. You know, I'm not, I know I'm not offending anyone when I'm singing it alone. I don't right. mean it as offensive when I'm singing it. So, so. Right. Yeah. It's not as written. As any song I sing. Or at least attempt to. Right. You sing in the shower? Yeah. All the time. What's your go-to so- song for the shower? Oh, man. It always changes. It's always whatever's on my iPod. So I'm, I'm definitely a rocker. So it's, you know, sometimes it's a Bon Jovi. Sometimes yeah. the last change. You know, so I dig it. I dig it. Do you have any advice for 18-year-old you? 18-year-old me. Start training sooner. Jesus. I, uh, I started training at about 21. And my biggest regret in wrestling is that I didn't start training sooner. Or at least 
least doing something a little bit more towards wrestling sooner. Um, because I, I played team sports all my life. I was a high level hockey player, I was a high level baseball player, but I never. I guess you gotta play hockey in. The, Sorry? Uh, you gotta play hockey in Canada. It's right? kind like of a you... must. I'm pretty sure it's in our, our laws for Canada that you must play <laughs> hockey up <laughs> to a certain level. If you're not, you get kicked out of the country. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, that's my biggest advice for 18 year old me. But uh, 18 year old me probably didn't have as good a head of, on her shoulders as 21 year old me did. So maybe, maybe it's the way it should have So been. maybe it's better off that you waited those couple years, got yourself a little bit more mature. I can see that. I All can right. see that. <laughs> Who is the funniest person you've ever shared a locker room with? Oh. <laughs> wow. Huh. Man, there's so many different kinds of funny, especially in wrestling. The one you made me laugh the most, actually, when I, when I talked to him was, was Matt Cross. And he actually... Yeah, I am dog. Well, he's a funny guy, and he, it was surprising how similar I felt that he and I were as well. So, I give it to Matt Cross. <laughs> Um, I did want to talk about like uh, your gear, ah. like uh, you're, you're, I guess you're pretty well known. Like uh, last time you were here, I think you had like uh, I think it was Wolverine or was it Fantastic Four based? Fantastic Four I did before. I think it was Bull. Uh, I think it was Godzilla that my last uh, my last show I did. Yeah, 936. I think it was Godzilla. So uh, what like what was the inspiration? Like obviously you're a big comic book uh, nerd then. Yeah, I love comic books. I, I I'm a big movie buff as well. Um, so I, I'm I used to do pretty well only superheroes and now I'm kind of playing off into movie roles as well. I've got a Scarface one coming that I'm really excited about and then uh, today's gear was Aquaman. Uh, there's so many superheroes still left to do that I really want to do. And, and my, do, you, do you make your own gear? No. Oh. My, my well, gear that would have been efficient, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, Ooh. My gear maker, uh, her name is Monster Muffin. She's out of Bradford, Ontario, which is a small, little, tiny in Ontario and she's just absolutely fantastic. She takes my my concepts which are either roughly done on Photoshop or, or drawn up with some kind of beads and, and crayons and she just turns into masterpieces. So I can't thank her enough for what she's done. And you actually did Batman vs Superman vs Leva a couple months ago, right? That, yeah, that was, was pretty so cool, much right? Fun. Yeah, yeah. That was like, one of my first uh, superhero costumes I did was Batman. Batman's my favorite. So Yeah, Batman's your favorite? Yeah. So I actually have two different Batman costumes. The one I don't wear very much, but that one I like quite a bit. All right, so we're gonna do a lightning round now. Oh my! A couple, couple quick well, questions. That means I have to be quick, and I'm not in a quick mood right now. Uh, <laughs> All, right. All right. So maybe a uh, you know slow rolling thunder <laughs> round. Rolling thunder. All right. First car. Uh, it was a Mazda three. Mazda three. Mm -hmm. Favorite band. Alice in Chains. Celebrity crush. It's just one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with Christian Bale. That's where the name comes from. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Favorite subject in school? Science. I was a nerd. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Do you remember your first phone number? Uh, it would have been my home phone number. So right. Yeah, yeah. You do? I do, and, and my parents still have it actually. Oh, so yeah, we won't so get it. I won't out. be disclosing that one. <laughs> Sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> Favorite ice cream? Flavor or type? Type, like I mean, not necessarily like chocolate or vanilla, but like okay. Rocky Road. Like, what do you like? If you, okay. you know, when you buy the ice cream, like you know, Jamocha almond fudge. I don't even. What? I don't. We need to go for Jamocha almond fudge right now. Is that like so? Jamocha is that like a coffee type flavor? Yeah, yeah. It's that big so on coffee. It's, it's a little bit coffee. There's a. Uh, the, it's often made with a little bit of caramel and chocolate mixed into it too, and there's almonds in it. It's, it's heavenly. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's definitely worth trying. Spirit animal. <laughs> turtle. <laughs> <laughs> turtle. Turtle. And they're tattooed all over my body, too. Oh, really? How many uh, turtle tattoos do you have? I have two, two turtles and then a whole bunch of others on the, on the forearms, which, oh, I, wow. which I always cover with gauntlets for, for some unforeseen reason. I, I think when I started making all my costumes, I, I had them made with gauntlets and I just continued that, but yeah, I'm, I'm tied up and I love it. <laughs> uh, one thing we like to do here on the Milo Beasley Show is a top five, or ask you a top oh. five random question. This is the same question I asked legendary comic artist Ty Templeton. Oh, wow. <laughs> but since you love Batman, top five actors who have played Batman. Uh, okay. Uh, the top five Batmen. Are Batman. we doing one to five or are we doing five? Uh, to no one? particular order. No particular order. Unless okay, you want to do. Top because okay. I think that'll be easier for me to All right. Yeah, write in my head. Okay, so number one, Christian Bale. Okay. Number two, Michael Keaton. 
Here's where it gets hard. Because <laughs> those two are so much better than the others. Uh, number three, Val Kilmer. Number, number four, Ben Affleck. Now, is this only in movies or can we do TV it's shows? TV shows as well. Any, any Batman. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, oh so, so we're going to... Number three is Adam West. <laughs> okay. Uh, number four, I'm going to go back to Val Kilmer. And number five... I actually like Ben Affleck as, as yeah? Batman. He's got the right face for it. The movie itself was horrible, but I thought his, his depiction of Batman wasn't the problem. I'm thinking Will Forte, Lego movie ah, Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't uh, even think of that route, but yeah, Will Forte could... Yeah, so yeah, the new movie, like Lego Batman, Yes. Out. Are you excited? Yeah, it's super excited. It's super excited. I saw the people when I was taking my nephew somewhere the other day. Where the heck was it? Oh, Sing. We took them to Sing. We saw the How was that? Cube. How was that? It was really good. Yeah? Yeah, was really, I love going to kids' movies. I love having small nephews to take my kids. <laughs> Is that way you're not a creep that you're sitting there by yeah, yourself? Yeah, exactly. Yeah! <laughs> uh, so, uh, before we wrap up, where can folks find you on the social medias? Uh, so, I'm on Twitter at Xander Bale. Uh, I'm on Facebook, also Xander Bale. I don't have a fan page right now, but I'm going to be creating one. Uh, Instagram, uh, I believe it's also at Xander Bale. So, pretty but, easy to find as long as you know how to spell my name. Right, which is? X A N D R A B A L E, just like Christian Bale. Just like Christian Bale, so. Yeah. yeah, Christian Bale, if you're, if, <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching, somebody, everybody, everybody tweet this out to Christian Bale right now, say so you must watch this. Um, so, <laughs> any, any, any other words before we uh, before we wrap up? No, this is a lot of fun. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for chatting with me. And uh, as you've got the uh, Blue Jays hat on, we're just... Always a, representing the six. We're like a, a month away from... Less than a month away is from spring soon? training. Wow! Like spring training is like right around the corner. It like flies. pitchers and catchers are like are like they're hanging out now. So wow! So thank you for watching episode number 139 of the Milo Beasley Show. Don't forget you can follow me on all the socials at the Wrestling Bum. Don't forget to give us a like, one of that thumbs up thing on Facebook, Facebook.com/slash the Milo Beasley Show. Uh, tell your friends, please tell everyone. And uh, thank you for sitting down with me. And uh, we'll see you next week.